there. Uh, welcome to Fiction and Fitness, and uh, it's been a long time since I've actually talked to the camera, or in this case, my iPad. Um, you can probably tell by the fact that my hair is so long, I need a haircut really badly. Yes, I can't see, and the barbell goes on top of my hair. It's okay. Uh, it's been a long time just because I have a hard time filming in my apartment, but I have it to myself this weekend, and I have something new, so I wanted to kind of show this and tell you about this clothing line. Um, I'm not sponsored, I'm an ambassador, so as much as I like to be an athlete or be sponsored by a company, not there yet, and when you do one video every six months, not going to get there, but we'll work on that for now. Um, I had, I've had several companies, you know, you get the ones on Instagram, airplane, uh, Instagram that like say, hey, DM us and we'll do this, you will talk to you about a deal and then you pay for the clothes and that's their way of getting people to promote their clothes, which is fine, but it's always the same one and they have several, like I get the same one and I have several accounts that just keep saying, hey, 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 and that gets annoying, as does my arm gesture. So... I never want to is interested in that. For this one, I've been following their posts for a little while um, because they show women lifting, which is great. And also, I mean, it's a fun little logo they have. So I was following them and then they did a post asking if people were interested. So I responded to that instead of having the companies hound me through like, ran like random posts of food and pictures of cats and they would be like, hey, you should do our clothing line as opposed to actual pictures of me doing powerlifting, which I have video of me deadlifting, and no, nothing on that. So I preferred this one partly because I had to actually reach out to them. Also because they were, weren't looking, like they actually probably considered it based on the fact that I have fitness stuff in there instead of just doing, hey, there's a random post by a person, let's ask them. So I like that about them. Interesting enough, um, they're called Be Just Strong, but their logo is Just Strong. And they're actually located in the UK, which is always fun. I guess that's the good part about the internet. You never know where someone's going to be located. Like, I live in LA. And there's a lot of US-based stuff. But actually, in fitness, there's a lot of UK-based companies. Like MyProtein, who has products in the UK we can't get in the US. I would like to try. Going to have to work on that someday. But for now, we'll start with the clothing. So, from Just Strong, I... I get a discount for myself, so I was able to, because I have I don't have black shorts. Like, I have, I have one pair of black shorts from um, Lululemon that I bought from a running thing, which are great because they have pockets. That's the only downside to these. But I don't have a lot of, like, just simple shirts and stuff. So what I did was, when they asked, when they accepted me as one of their ambassadors, I ordered simple at first. So these are just the black shorts. They're cotton. These are a size medium. I'm four foot eleven and about twenty pounds overweight for my height. Roughly, I'm, I'm working on cutting again, so you know that's my usual. I'm always cutting, but at my height, I don't know how the shorts are supposed to go. But as you can see, they go. Oh, sorry. They're far above my knee, but they're still long enough where it doesn't feel like they're they're not booty shorts. And I'm not sure where they're supposed to sit on my waist, but because of my height, I can actually hold them up. Because uh, like some women, I carry my excess weight and skin in my stomach. So I'm able to do this here. Now, these are squat proof. I wore them yesterday when I was doing my max effort. Only got up to 205, which I failed once, and then I got a rep. Uh, so not my best session, but still pretty decent. Um, I was able, I did lots of squats, and I did some deadlifts in them. Where I need high socks, of course, and some good mornings. Uh, the only downside to me is like the way this waistband is, like it is stretchy, which is great. But when I was doing the movements, um, with the way my stomach is, I could like feel it kind of. I don't know if it was making a sound or not because I had my earbuds on, but I could feel the waistband, which is a little just something I'm gonna have to get used to. It's just, but it is a nice stretchy one, so it will like these mediums, even if I decide to bulk, I'll still be able to wear the mediums for a long time. So if you're actually on the thin side, you might want a small. 
but they are pretty comfortable. Um, the only downside is there are some strings I'm going to have to um, take care of, but that's no big deal. I have tiny little scissors that'll handle that. They're cotton. They're pretty comfortable because um, I started filming and forgot something. One moment. Maybe the cat will make a cameo. And I'm not even going to edit that out. So here's the shirt I got. Um, I don't have any white ones because I don't have a lot of bras that can go under it. But I like this. I don't I don't like long sleeves and I'm not going to do a crop yet because of my stomach. Um, so I went with something that I would be able to wear sooner. The only thing is, so I got this. The material is kind of jersey-like. It reminds me a little bit of one of my track and field uniforms when I was in junior high long time ago. So that's what the material reminds me of. This is a medium. I, I tend to get mediums because I feel a little weird, like I might be able to fit a small, but I can never tell because I am a little fluffy in the stomach, so I have to accommodate for this. Whereas up here is small, unfortunately. In fact, my white bra I do have doesn't fit because uh, the cup size went down for me. That's the joy of losing weight. But I mean, it is interesting. It's it's interesting cut. It's a thin material, so it'll probably be comfortable in the gym when I'm wearing it because it's been warm. Even though it's cloudy in LA a little bit, it has been warm in the gym. So I'm looking forward to wearing it. But it is see through. A little bit, like you can see that 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 I'm pretty white under it, and then you can see whatever bra. So I basically have to wear this with a bra. I'm okay with everyone else seeing. I won't be, it's not like completely see-through, but you can tell. Like you could even tell when I was wearing a white bra versus a blue bra. Like you could tell the material underneath. So if that makes you uncomfortable, I don't recommend the white. You might want to get the black. But it has their logo on it, which is based on squats. One of my favorite lifts, uh, next to deadlift, of course. Bench would be hard to do in a logo anyways. So it's nice that they do the squat logo. They have a female mid squat and they're trying to promote women being strong which i think is fabulous so i'm looking forward to it i may get a crop next but that's because i wear crops under my singlet when i'm competing hoping to compete in either the end of july or august and september it just depends on what i can find to meet so hopefully i can do that by then so that's this video um if you're interested in promoting a company that um focuses on empowering women and that we can lift heavy um, I would suggest maybe checking them out and you can always use my I now have a discount code so that'll be fun to promote my first time promoting a discount code it'll be in the link below and on my profile as well as Instagram and all that jazz so until next time um, I have some other clothes to kind of show you I'm not sponsored I actually paid for them but they'll be fun and then I have some lifting videos I'm way behind posting on so, other than bench, which you probably will never see until I have someone at the gym with me, for now, you get clothing and the occasional squat and deadlift. And hopefully, you'll get a video within the next month and a half. I'll try. Until then, have a good day, keep lifting, stay strong, and maybe do some writing too.